Hi guys, it's Mark from Achilles Training here today. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through an exercise called an inchworm. Um, so what I'll do first is I'll demo it, sort of explain how to do it, and then I'll talk a bit about it afterwards. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so with the inchworm, inchworm you want to start standing, you know, feet a little bit, pretty much shoulder width apart. And first thing I want to do, I want to bend over, hinge our hips so the back's nice and straight. Go nice and slow, making sure that that core is engaged that whole time. We're feeling that squeeze where that belly button is, coming back up slowly. Again, hinge over, nice straight back. Coming out nice and slow, feeling that squeezing our belly button the whole time. Back up we go. So I'll do a few more just for you to look at. Then I'll come back and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Hi guys, so as you just saw, that was the inchworm. Um, I guess the key things to remember with that are is when you initially bend over, hinge, you know, make sure that back's as straight as possible. And as you're coming out, really straighten that back out. Go as far down as you comfortably can, keeping that core engaged or keeping feeling that squeeze at the belly button. You know, keeping that back straight. And then you just return to neutral, you know, take your time, don't do it quickly, inchworms aren't fast. Um, you know, and you know, just go as far as you comfortably can, you know, like oh, I probably didn't go out as far as I could have in that video, um, to be honest. But if that's, you know, where as far as you can go, that's fine. Um, it will stretch, you know, it's a, it's a nice warm up because it does actually stretch out that back and that, you know, that that posterior um, part of your body too. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's an exercise I generally use as a warm-up exercise. In saying that, it's not like it can't be made a part of your workout. You, most people probably just need to progress it and make it a little bit more difficult. So that might mean, you know, as we go out into our plank position, the inchworm ends us in, we might add a push-up. We might do walking inchworms, which is basically we do what we what I just did, but then we instead of returning to neutral, we bring our legs up, um, you know, and, and then we get back to that starting position, and then we go arms out or walk out with our hands, you know, legs. Um, then coming back to return us to that same neutral position I started in and, and you know that's how you can do a walking inchworm but anyway um, I, you know hope that was helpful um, you know if you have any questions let me know you can find me on the Achilles Trank Facebook page um, or you know just contact me um, for YouTube if you need to um, but yeah like um, you know subscribe if if you're interested in seeing what else I have to offer in the future um, and check out my future past videos as well um anyway thanks guys see ya